What is going on, my friends? We are out here in Auburndale, and I think I just found me a little edge case during a customer trip where the system just sort of lost its guidance when coming around a corner that was sort of a blind left up an embankment and then to a uh, railroad track crossing and things just kind of diverged and it was nutty. Uh, there was a similar kind of crazy little intersection that I just passed around this lake too. So we're gonna check it out and do some testing on it. It's coming up right here and we're gonna see how we handle going both directions. This is for science. This is for the wonderful Tesla AI team and all the early training data. Let's see what we got. If any of you drive around here, we are near Derry Road in Auburndale, Old Lake Alfred Road. And this is the railroad that threw us off enough that I decided to just bail to the right and head down a different course. And we went down this road instead. So it might be okay from this direction. It was coming from the other way. We sort of ended up in this little white collection of lanes here, or lines, sorry. Turn signal on, coming over, diving down. And then I'm probably gonna pull into this neighborhood or whatever right here to do a turnaround and we're gonna test it. And I'm probably gonna hit it a couple of times, collect data, report feedback back to the mothership and yeah, contribute to the progress. Routes laid in, we'll go full screen here to try to get a better idea of what's happening. Got some cars to our left, cameras are recording. After this BMW, we have a little break where 12.5 has been really good at shooting the gap. Of course, I, I gave it some praise, so now it's not. All right, here we go again. I had to restage because this darn camera turned off. But we are recording now. Cool. We're going to have a bunch of cars in front of us this time, which this time is cool because, wow, we got congestion up there. I want to see if with the lead car, if Mew is able to track behind them and stay on course. And guys, it's totally cool that this is happening. This is an early release build, a 12.5.4.1, and this is the point. I am trying to generate uh, repeatable information for them to see. And I am going to actually kind of force it to stay on track this time because we need to sharp track around with these cars. And it's, oh, oh, it's doing it, it's doing it. Oh, sloppy. We kind of went over the lane a little bit there. I am gonna disengage the report, snapshot going back. System managed to track with other vehicles, but verged from the lane or veered from the lane. Okay, that was an improvement. With the cars in front, it seemed to see where we needed to go. So we're gonna hit it again. Now I've lost my front camera. Why? And it's not it's not heating. It's not overheated. There's no warning for overheating. <sighs> you know, I'm wondering if it's the stupid quick app interfering or something. I'm gonna try something. I'm just gonna turn my phone off. All right, phone is off. And let's see if we have any on or off issues with the cameras. We're getting to our turnaround spot to run this again. Again, if any of you wanna try this out in your own car, uh, especially if you're on a different build than me, I'm on 12.5.4.1, not 12.54 like the rest of you are, and also not 12.55 like the Cybertruck owners. That I am in Auburndale. And this is Old Dairy Road and Lake Alfred Road. This portion here leading up to the turn is uh, Dairy Road. So we're gonna go ahead and activate. That's an Amtrak, so it's likely gonna be passed. Wow, that initiative was awesome. So this may or may not be done. Yep, there it is, there's the end of it. All right, now here again, we have a case where we're hopefully gonna be tracking behind these cars. Cameras are recording. We're looking good. Full screen visual. Let's see if we can track this. It's, it's rather sharp. We want to stay in line here. All right, this car is, seems confused. Oh, because they're going to the right. So let's see how we follow. Oh, oh, kind of too far to the left that time. All right, get us back in the lane here. System struggling to track lane. I'm gonna do one more pass. And I think that is uh, pretty much enough to kind of run the point home for the team as far as seeing what's happening. We're clear. <laughs> Windows closing, but we're in, cool. Good amount of space between the cars in front of us. Devil's Crossing, round four, five. Who knows? <laughs> oh, oh boy. 
We got a big rig coming down. We have pedestrians on the left. He's coming over the lane, but we're good. Really good reaction with the rig. That was awesome. Now we're, we're, we're going way too slow here. All right, and I'm taking over and retracking us on point. System failed to track lane. Snapshot sent back, reporting done. And that will conclude this test. Um, cool, that camera stayed on. <laughs> All right, man, that, that's fun. This is another thing I love to do with my customer stuff. Since I'm driving all over the place, I'm discovering little edge cases like that where I can then, you know, return and do some more dedicated passes to see how the vehicle behaves, um, behaves, behaves. And that was good. Yeah, this region, super busy. That's pretty nutty. I probably will coin that the Devil's Crossing. And yeah, look forward to testing that spot in future iterations, future builds. I hope that's helpful for the Tesla team to be able to see what's going on there. Um, this is what I love to do, the hard testing, getting the data, sciencing the hell out of this. So I'm gonna continue with my day and making money and getting customers. That is a beautiful view of this lake over here. And I will catch you on the next video. Take care.